on my way for a day hike today at Fort Mountain State Park. Looks like it's going to be a beautiful day. Sleeves here, out for a day hike today in Fort Mountain State Park. It's located near Chatsworth, Georgia, off of Highway 52. It's a 3,712 acre park on Fort Mountain. And uh, we're gonna be on the Gahuti Trail today, which is a Cherokee name meaning uh, Mother Mountain. It's an 8.2 mile trail that's a loop around the park. There's a lot to see, a lot to do. A lot of trails here, over 60 miles of trail. Some of it uh, bike trails, some of it hiking. Also, there is a mysterious uh, stone wall created by the Native Americans here. It tend to be thought of as a defensive uh, wall. Hope to check that out. There's also a CCC uh, fire tower that uh, we hope to get a look at. But I know we're going to have a great day. Hope you come along, and I look forward to uh, showing you a little of my hike. This view is from the West Overlook. I'm on Fort Mountain. The old wall and the CCC fire tower are just to my left. Looking out toward the west, Highway 411 and the city of Chatsworth is right down below there. And as our view turns a little bit further to the north, the Cahutta Wilderness and the Cahutta Mountains come into view. Gorgeous spot. Pretty neat construction here on the CCC fire tower. Well done. It is locked today. I believe they give tours of the fire tower later this month, so I've missed that, but
this is a portion of the rock wall To my untrained eye, I'm not sure I would have realized that this was a prehistoric site, but I don't have the trained eye. Pretty neat. This rock wall continues around Fort Mountain. It is 855 feet long, and some say the Native Americans built it as a defensive measure. Others try to assign a more mysterious uh, reason behind it, but uh, nonetheless, pretty neat to see. My first impression of the Gahuti Trail is that it is uh, a peaceful trail runs along Fort Mountain. The trail is rather rocky and plenty of roots on the trail. So you have to t pay attention to uh, foot placement. There is some elevation gains uh, to be made here on the trail. Fort Mountain is at an elevation of around 2,800 feet or so. So depending on your direction on the Gahuti Trail, whether you're going clockwise or counterclockwise, uh, will depend on how much elevation gain you get, but it is a nice trail. So as I was walking on down the mountain, I uh, began to uh, smell smoke. And let me show you what you should not do when you leave your campsite. So I come up on this campsite, and this is what I find. Unbelievable. I'll put that out before I hike on. This is a view to the west from just a rock outcrop along the side of the trail. A view of Fort Mountain. We just left there visiting the CCC fire tower and the prehistoric rock wall. Here's a nice view looking toward the south and east, it's just off the trail. It's a nice breeze blowing today, keeping it a little cooler than uh, it could be. 
pretty warm today. It's in the 80s, but uh, this breeze is really uh, making it feel pretty nice. neat tree. Beautiful day. I have wrapped up my day hike today in Fort Mountain State Park. Here at the Cold Springs Overlook, right where I started from. It is a trail called the Gahuti Trail. It's a loop of 8.2 miles. And I took the trail in a counterclockwise direction. I wanted to get to uh, the top of Fort Mountain and explore the CCC uh, fire tower and the old rock wall up there before uh, large numbers of folks made it there. But anyway, adding that exploration in, I probably picked up about nine and a half miles or so. It was a great hike, pretty location, uh, some water features that uh, I can imagine would be really great. Uh, during the hot high water times, but today uh, we just haven't had any rain in a long time, so uh, not much water. But I definitely recommend the trail. Uh, if you're here in the northwest Georgia area near Chatsworth off of Highway 52, check it out. It's definitely worth it. So till next time, this is Sleeves saying keep hiking. <laughs>